So the gig that changed my life was the Stone Roses in Manchester, 1989, at the International 2, Plymouth Grove. I was 16, it was a week. I think that album had just come out or was coming out that week. I was on the dole at the time, the good old days. I asked my mum for 15 quid to go to the gig. I think the tickets were about a tenner, and they come on, if I can remember, I'm sure it was I Want to Be Adored, because Ian Brown comes on with these mare bells bouncing about. I didn't get down the front and have a mock jump around and that, I don't do any of that stuff, so it was just me and my mate Dave just stood there leaning against the wall thinking this is the best thing ever. There was no barriers at the concerts then, you know what I mean? So it was like, all the kids were like sitting on the stage, you know what I mean? And it was about the look as well, you know what I mean? There was a lot of bands in Manchester that looked a little bit, a bit ropey, you know what I mean? But they had everything, they had the tunes, the guitars went with the clothes. They felt like they were speaking, they were normal, you know what I mean? They just looked like lads, you know what I mean? Like my mates that we play football with. I was obsessed with being in a band, obviously. I knew a few lads around the area, but when I seen these lot, I thought, this is as good as we've got to be, you know what I mean? And then that was it, that was my epiphany. After the gig, straight back to my mum's, and I was just like, that was it. I said to her, I'm going to join a band. She's like, oh, well, you better, because you owe me 15 quid. And that was it. That was, that's the one that changed my life.